What's up guys? So we got a back day on the menu today. I'm training with my coach, Dorian Hamilton. Uh, today is gonna be a good day. I could just feel it. I feel tired as fuck, which is good. I feel hungry, actually. Well, like, not in the sense that I'm thinking about food, but I'm thinking about my next meal. You know, like once I finish a meal, like let's say I finish my first meal, I'm like, fuck, when's the next meal? It's two and a half hours, like, <laughs> just, but, and I, I have to occupy my time in between so the time goes by faster. So I know that this is a good sign. It means that my body is gonna be, you know, wants more. And when this happens, when I feel like this, I make really good changes. So I'm happy with the progress, but I'm not content. You know, I still feel like I need a lot. I need to change a lot before in, in the next couple weeks. So we're just under four weeks right now from Romania. And uh, I'm hungry, man. I'm waking up every day just obsessed to, obsessed to transform, obsessed to see more changes. I'm doing everything in my power to get those changes and just got to keep that momentum up, keep working hard and following the plan. And yeah, that's the thing. I know I haven't been posting for a couple weeks, but at the end of the day, I'm really doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I really live this lifestyle. You know, I don't do this for social media. I do this and I showcase it when I can, but this is my life. I've been thinking lately it's just me against the world. Round and round I'm caught up in this swirl. Trying to dig and trying to burrow. Pressure turned this stone into a pearl. Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough. Sugar coated like a churl. Now I'm really out here on my own. Now my homies acting like I owe I'm done extending out my arm. Made a lot of money from my palms. Been around and now they say I'm on. I can finally say I'm up now. I'm up now. 20,000 on a bus down. A bus down. I'm on my way. I'm going up now. Up now. And I ain't never gonna touch down. Touch down. So pretty much, I want to get workouts in with Dorian as often as I can, and also with Mike. Uh, I'm at a point where some days just, I don't know, I don't know what the variable is that makes me feel a bit better, but like yesterday I had one of those days I trained alone, I, I was good, I was fine, I didn't need nobody, but for the most part, um, I think your training will always be benefited if you could get extra reps, forced reps. If you could have somebody push you, somebody tell you to do something that you don't think you could do sometimes. So also there's an element of uh, expertise when I have Dorian there and also Mike there, because Mike's obviously an incredible trainer and he's very smart. So I, I want to train with them as much as I can leading up into the show. And yeah, I, I definitely need a push right now. Regardless, I'm a push, but as I said, when you have somebody there, you get to push that much more. So the idea is just to give it everything I got and more, and uh, they're gonna help bring that out of me. It'll be really easy to find it. Keep that same like protraction, so our arms are in front. We'll lean back, find it, then we're just gonna pull down, and you should be able to isolate really easily after that. First set will be really light, just to feel it. It's gonna be double arm. So. Externally rotate, right? Take it out of the terries, keep it in the lat. So we're externally rotated, leaning back, it's in the lat. I'm just gonna rock down on it, right there. Stick that chest up through it. So on this on this movement, uh, we're pretty much trying to focus on like lower lats. So you'll notice like when Quentin's doing it or I'm doing it, um, everything's sort of in front of us, and we're keeping uh, we're keeping externally rotated so that when we're up. We're here. We're not allowing the weight to come up like this. So when we come up like this, that's just going to introduce a teres upper back, um, your rear delts. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not wrong. It's just you're hitting different muscles. Where we're, you know, primarily trying to target like Quentin's lower lats here on this movement. You know, so after the pullovers, that pretty much warms it up, isolates it without involving any arms or biceps. So going on to this movement, he's really able to tap into the muscle and get to the point very quickly. So uh, when you guys are performing this, you know, you want to make sure you're externally rotated, protracting. So on the negative, you're actually letting the weight pull like away from you and stretch the lat. So there's lots of tension on it. Opposed to like, you know, a lot of people, if they're back, 
both their bodies come forward and they'll end up like this at the top. We have a slight lean and we're in here. So there's tension on the lat and we're pushing that way. So it's actually pulling. Imagine Quinton pulling my arm. He's stretching my lat, right? We're letting it drag. So those are just some cues you guys can kind of play around with and see if you feel it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do two pull down movements. So now, so basically with these sets, the way we're training right now is we're basically doing fuel sets, primer sets, whatever you want to call them. So we'll do two or three just to find like the heaviest weight. And then we're doing just one all out hard set um, with whatever, whatever sort of method to take that to failure, whether it's a rest pause, whether it's a drop set, whatever, four straps. So that's what we're doing here. Good. We are 3.8 weeks out today, right? Yeah, 3.8 weeks out. It's great. I think his con as far as conditioning goes and where he's at, I think he pretty much already surpassed that maybe like two weeks ago. So he's uh, in a pretty cool position right now. Every day s seeing small improvements. Day to day, skin's getting thinner, more refinement. I don't know, like necessarily like how much weight we're gonna see drop at this point but visually you know weight doesn't always tell tell the story right you could be 265 pounds and it could be, be two completely different looks right if you sit at 265 pounds for three weeks and you're refining and thinning out the skin and getting harder and you're working you're, you know you're practicing posing it could be a completely different look so you can't be focused on the scale it really has to be dependent on the look and that's sort of what we're going after here every day. We're doing daily check-ins at this point and tweaking the diet, cardio and everything sort of, you know, daily as things uh, come. Like today, for example, you know, we backed off his evening session of cardio where the last, like, it's been like, how many days in a row now? You've done an hour and a half of cardio for, right? A while, right? So we ran, ran him, I pretty much pushed the diet and the cardio really hard for the last little bit here. It's been at least seven, eight days, like consistent. So yeah, just daily fine tuning. So super exciting. Okay, we got a little weight here.
blinds on, I can't turn it off. Late nights and I'm turning up. Hate life and I learn to love. Down and out now, I'm way above. I always knew I had it. Now I'm living out my dreams. Treat that money like an addict. It's a habit. I'm a fiend. Feeling that rush. Rocket ready to launch. Hands up, ready and gone. Been waiting too long. Trust on plenty that's wrong. Old me's dead and that's gone. Thank God I'm headstrong. I don't want to wake up in a doubt. That I show them everything I'm about. I ain't never going out. I ain't never did it for no club. Now I'm sitting free on the clock. I'm, I'm up now. I'm up now. 20,000 on a bus down. A bus down. I'm on my way up. Going up now. Up now. And I ain't never gonna touch down. Touch down. No, I ain't Another back day in the books. We're getting real close to the show. We're getting real close. So uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I might not look like I'm that excited right now just because, you know, the energy's down. And uh, man, it's funny. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a rant a little bit. When people come up to me and ask, like, are you okay? Like, I'm perfectly fine. You know, I chose to do this. You know, I. I'm perfectly fine with what comes with pushing yourself to the limit. You know, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows, but this is the life I chose and I really enjoy it. I love it, you know? So, uh, uh, I'm just in a different mode, you know? Normally I feel like I'm a very, well, maybe not a very, but I'm a pretty social person. I'm pretty bubbly, energetic. I'm not that right now. Yeah, I don't want to talk to people. I just want to come to the gym, train, go, uh, to the gym, do my cardio, do my cardio in the morning. I do it at Dorian's house, uh, pose, get my meals in and just, I'm obsessed, you know, I'm obsessed and I want to keep seeing changes. And when I wake up and I know Dorian said, and it's true, weight is, it's a tool that you can use to gauge where you're at, but it's not everything. It's not the end all be all. It doesn't always tell the, the full tale, but you know, sometimes I check my weight in the morning and the, the weight went up or it didn't go down. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> you know, I, I pose, I take pictures. I'm looking at them. I'm like, I don't know if I see a difference. So, you know, so I start freaking out a bit, but uh, you know, it all comes with it. And at the end of the day, it's, it's fun. It's a funny process. And uh, you just got to keep pushing even when you're uncomfortable. And that's how I believe we're going to achieve the best look that I've ever, I've ever, I'll ever have it's up until this point. And yeah, I'm excited and I'm excited to wake up each and every day because I get to, I get to do what I want to do, what I love to do. And yeah, and what I want to do is I want to get to the Olympia next year. I want to qualify. So in order to do that, I would like to win a show. In order to win a show, I need to come in at 100%. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're working on. And yeah, so anyways, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you, I mean, you definitely will be able to take some gems from the tips that Dorian gave as I was a mute during the workout. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.